All right. <laughs> so I got these um, styrofoam trash that washed up on the shores of Kota Kiev. And I brought them back because they're really nice to sit up on to give you a little height. Yeah. So you've got one there if you want to come up onto it uh, and sit on top of it and shift your weight forward a bit so that your sits bones are up on the edge of the block but that the butt flesh is being pulled back behind you. Yes. Just give your abdomen and torso a bit of space, room to move. So we're going to go through a twist class today. So it's working on activating your side bodies and using them to build the structure of your core and your stability. So we'll do some balance as well. And I like to begin all of my practices actually with Kapal Bhati. Have you, are you familiar with Kapal Bhati? I'm not sure. Okay, it's a breath work and it involves two bandhas. So one is your root lock, your Mula Bandha or Muladhara Chakra. Uh, and that you engage by contracting the muscle at the base of your spine that you would use to stop yourself from urinating. Okay. Or That's the one that we did on the right? Yeah, yeah. I teach it regularly, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a really nice one. Um, and the other banda is your throat lock. So you achieve that by just tucking your chin back so that your ear is more in line with your shoulder. And you can feel a slight restriction in the back of your throat. And then try to breathe with your mouth closed through your nose with that. So in Kapalabhati, we'll be holding our breath and, and creating those locks by just engaging those muscles and drawing your chin back. And this breath work is really to get you more familiar with the length of your inhale and exhale, and to just tune in, gaze inward, and see where you are today, see how you're feeling. So we'll inhale our arms up, and then exhale, goal post. Create soft fists with your palms and your thumbs point up. So Kapalabhati is short, sharp exhales through your nostrils and you draw your navel back and up into your like upper rib cage with every exhale. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit counterintuitive. So you exhale and draw your perineum is that muscle at the base of your spine and your abdomen up and back as you breathe forcefully through your nose. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds per breath. Begin. So first try to link the exhale with the contraction. So it's like this force that's coming in through the base and out through the top. With the exhale or with exhale. The X out. Up. Fuera. I'm doing it backwards, right? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine? Most people do at first. Yeah. So try to just think about it. So as you draw your abdomen up, breathe out. So pick yourself up, 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 and the breath is coming out, out, out. See if you can draw your navel all the way back. We'll try it one more time. So we'll just go through it the first round. Then you'll inhale your arms up and interlace your thumbs. So really spread them, like pull them apart actively and reach up above your head. So your shoulders come up around your eels and like your head kind of nestles in. Then inhale all the breath that you can and then hold your breath at the top and then engage Jalandhara Bandha, your throat lock, perfect, and your root lock. So engage all of the musculature down here. Close your eyes and just hold your breath as long as you can without straining. And envision the spine from the crown of your head to the base. So we're observing our length of breath hold. So as soon as you can't hold your inhale anymore and you need to release, 
First release the bandhas, your throat and your root, and then release your thumbs, and take one long exhale as your thumbs lower around you, envisioning creating an arc of white light around your body with your thumbs until your palms come to rest on your thighs. Then just observe the inhale and exhale and allow it to flow naturally. Observe what thoughts come up for you, what feelings or sensations in your body are present. We're not trying to change them, we're just trying to observe. So we'll do this two more rounds. Inhale your arms up and exhale to goal post. Soft fists, thumbs point up. Begin Kapalabhati. In exhale as you draw your navel back and up. So one second exhales, 33 of them. So don't focus on your inhale at all. Your inhale will happen automatically. Your body will naturally inhale. Focus on pushing the air up from your abdomen, out through your nose on your exhale, 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 exhale. Focus on the feeling of the breath coming up through your throat and through your nostrils and pushing it out, using the strength and the power in your core to push the breath out of your nostrils. See how it feels. Relax your shoulders. Relax your head. Relax every other part of your body other than your abdomen to control the breath. Five more. Then inhale, reach your arms up over your head, interlace your thumbs and pull them actively apart from one another. Reach your fists actively for the ceiling and take in a deep inhale, all the breath that you can into your entire body and then hold your breath at the top. Seal Jalandhar Bandha, tuck your throat. Seal Mula Bandha, your root lock, engage your pelvic floor. Hold only as long as you can without strain as you envision the breath traveling down the back of your spine. When you need to exhale, first release both of the bandhas and your thumbs, and then take one long exhale as your thumbs trace an arc of white light around you, slowly falling at the same pace as your exhale. And then allow for the inhale and the exhale to flow naturally. And observe. What do you feel? What are you sensing? With this breath work, we're creating space to allow whatever comes up in our practice. When you're ready, one final round of Kapalbhati. Inhale your arms up and exhale, bring them to a goal post. Soft fist, thumbs point up. Begin Kapalbhati. Short, sharp exhales originating at your low belly, your pelvic floor. One second, short and sharp and fast as you exhale, 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 exhale. There you go. See if you can make the exhale sound audible as you use the force of your core to press the breath through your nostrils. Focus on the out, 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 yes. Feel like the very breath can lift you up off of the block because it's so powerful. The engagement of your core is literally contracting and lifting you up in the direction of your head. Like you're snorting fire like a dragon, right? You're breathing out every time, not focusing on the inhale. Your body will just naturally inhale. Focus on forcing the breath out with the exhale. Beautiful. 
Now inhale your arms up and interlace your thumbs. Reach for the sky, extend your spine long. Breathe in and hold your breath at the top of your inhale. Root lock, mula bandha. Throat lock, jalandhara bandha. Envision the breath traveling down the back of your spine. And as soon as you need to exhale, release both of the bandhas and your thumbs and allow your hands to fall as slowly as your breath falls. Moving in tandem at the same pace. And then notice the sensations once again. Of the body and the mind. Inhale and gaze up, stretching the front of your throat, feeling the openness as compared to the restriction of Jalandhara Bandha. And exhale, tuck your chin and gaze down, feeling the stretch across the back of your neck, all of the connective points of your cervical spine vertebrae. Let it, allowing them to open up and really feeling the tightness in the front of your throat. Inhale, gaze up. Feel the throat open. Exhale, gaze down, chin to chest. Extend the back of your neck. Inhale, gaze up, come back to center and flutter your eyes open, come back to the space. And start some neck rolls. So take your ear to your shoulder, Chin to your chest, opposite ear to opposite shoulder, back of your head falls back and then come back and around. And then two more circles linking your breath with your movement. So inhale as you gaze up and exhale as your head comes down. Inhale around to the back and exhale, come forward and then reverse the direction. So bring your same ear back and around as you inhale and as you exhale lower it down and around two more on this side inhale as your head comes up and exhale as it comes down last one and come back to center Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale your left hand down to the floor. Reach your right arm up and over. Three breaths here with every inhale. Reach higher towards the ceiling and on your exhale, reach over towards the wall. Inhale, reach up and exhale, reach over. Nice, come back to center on your inhale and on your exhale, lower your right fingertips down. Reach up on your inhale and exhale over. Inhale, find length in your spine and exhale, contract from your core. Inhale, reach, exhale, extend to the side. Nice, inhale, come back to center and then twist to the left. Gazing back over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back up to center and exhale, twist to the right. Gazing back over your left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist a little bit deeper from your upper rib cage. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, roll off of your block and come to a tabletop position. You can place a cushion underneath of your knees if you have sensitive knees, or if you have any injuries. <laughs> I just bashed my knee into my bike yesterday, so I <laughs> need a big cushion. We're going to go through some cat cows here. So inhale, gaze up and let your hips rise and your belly really sag. And then exhale, 
Contract your abdomen back towards your low spine. Let your head hang and your hips hang. And cat. Inhale, cow. Gaze up, hips up. Exhale, cat. <coughs> Round your spine. Inhale, come back to tabletop position. Take your right hand and thread it underneath of your left arm. Place your right cheek and ear on the floor and you can tent your left fingertips up and play with lowering your elbow down to the floor and reaching it back up to the sky. So what we're targeting here is your right side deltoid and your shoulder and kind of in the back here. And sometimes it feels a lot better to have your elbow closer to the floor. Sometimes it feels better for you to have it raised. Pick the spot that works for you and send your breath there, just opening up that shoulder point. And if it feels better to have your elbow towards the ceiling, you can also come into a bind here. So reach your left hand up towards the ceiling and then back and around right hip. Nice, and take three full breaths here. Just seeing if anything shifts, if there's any tightness in the shoulder that you want to open up. This possibly also opens up your chest on the left side and your outer left hip. And then on your next exhale, bring your left palm down to the mat again and press yourself back up to tabletop position and then switch sides. So thread the needle with your left hand underneath of your right, left cheek and ear come to the floor, tent your right fingertips and then play with lowering elbow, noting that the different sides of our body are different and they experience different stresses and strains. So one side may want something different than the other. So the down position may feel better for you here or the up may feel the same. Maybe you want that type of a stretch on this side as well. If it feels good to have your elbow up, then you can take it into a bind on this side as well by reaching up with your right hand and then reaching back for your outer left hip. Nice, just sink in, see how your body feels today. Does that shoulder need a little extra love? Is your chest ready to open up? Is that right side feeling good? An initial twist to start off our practice by turning into whatever blockages we contain in our abdomen, our solar plexus. And then on your next exhale, bring your right palm back to the floor, the mat, and press yourself back up to tabletop position. And then slowly lower yourself down to the mat, your entire belly. <clears throat> Open up your arms out to the sides and tent your left fingertips up by your you could do that side, yeah. And then open, extend your other arm out to the side. Good, bend your left knee and lift your left knee up off of the mat and then allow it to fall back behind you. Opening up the hips a little bit and more into that shoulder. Three full breaths here, filling up. With every inhale and exhale, draw your navel back, beautiful. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, contract. Last breath. And then on your exhale, allow your left knee to come back to the mat. Extend your left arm out beside you and tent your right fingertips up. Then bend your right knee and let your right foot fall back behind you. Opening up that hip. And chest. Three full Agni Raj breaths here. 
Breathe a deep breath from the base of your spine up through your belly, expanding out your rib cage, maybe up into your throat. Exhale and draw your abdomen back and down. Let all of the breath release from your body. One more full and complete inhale and exhale. And on your last exhale, let your right leg fall down towards the mat once more. Press through your right palm and press yourself back. Sink your hips back over your heels in balasana or child's pose. So bring your knees directly underneath of your rib cage. Intent your fingertips. Lift your wrists and elbows. With every inhale, feel the breath pressing your belly against your thighs to fill up. And with every exhale, release. Draw your abdomen back towards your low spine, towards the ceiling. Inhale and fill up. Use your thighs as something to press into to expand your belly out even more than you could before. And on your exhale, really draw back and up with your abdomen. This is where we connect to our Agni Raj breath. A full Agni Raj breath is taking a deep inhale and letting your belly, your ribs, your chest, your throat, the crown of your head expand on your inhale. And on your exhale, contracting from your abdomen in the same direction, drawing your navel back, wrapping your ribs in and down, letting your chest sink, your shoulders lighten, and your head fall. Nice, two more full breaths. Belly, ribs, chest, throat, forehead. Exhale, belly, ribs, chest, throat, forehead, crown of head. Okay. Taking full and deep breaths all throughout class. On your next inhale, plant your palms down and shift your hips back up to tabletop position. Take a deep inhale and find length in your spine and then exhale, tuck your toes under and send your hips back to downward facing dog. Feet are hips width distance apart and palms are shoulder width distance. You could spread your feet a little bit wider. Yeah, nice. Bend your knees really deeply. Bend, bend, bend. And then see if you can stick your tailbone up towards the sky a little bit more. Nice. Really feel the length in your entire spine from the creases of your wrists all the way back to your hip bones and feel that turning down of your pelvis, your pubic bone. Beautiful. Inhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, lift your heels and walk or hop to forward fold. Beautiful. Keep your feet hips width distance apart and bend your knees. Let your torso hang heavy. And then inhale, straighten your legs, rise up to halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees. Inhale, reach out in front of you, bend your knees and sink your hips back over your heels in a bit of a tr um, chair pose and then inhale extend your legs straight and rise up to Urdhva Hastasana exhale hands to heart center Samastiti inhale reach up gaze up draw your abdomen back and squeeze your sits bones down towards one another and then exhale fold forward Uttanasana <clears throat> Let's try that one more time. Rise up to Urdhva Hastasana. Reach your arms out in front of you first, elbows by your ears, yeah. And then rise up through chair pose to Urdhva Hastasana. Beautiful, extend your legs straight and stand up tall. And then exhale, hinge at your hips. Keep your spine as straight as you can as you come down. And as soon as you need to bend your knees to keep your spine straight, do so. 
exhale nice keep your arms by your ears yeah in lengthen your spine gorgeous exhale plant your fingertips and your right leg back low lunge then lower your right knee untuck your right toes inhale sweep your arms out in front of you and rise up to anjane asana three breaths here draw your left heel back in space as you tuck your sits bones under and draw your abdomen up and back and then with that position of your pelvis sink a little more forward into that left knee excellent then inhale and grab onto your right arm and stretch over to the left inhale reach other side yeah feel that nice long stretch all the way up from your right hip flexor through your right side body and then carry your right wrist around to the left side and place your right elbow on the outside of your right knee here doll oh yeah this way yeah there you go prayer hands and with every inhale find some more length in your spine with every exhale press that top hand into your bottom hand and gaze up towards your left elbow two more full Agni Raj breaths here inhale length and exhale twist inhale lengthen exhale twist inhale rise your torso back up to center reach up and then on your exhale press off the top of your right foot in the back and come to forward fold uttanasana inhale sweep your arms out in front of you elbows by your ears rise up through chair pose straighten your legs exhale samastiti we'll try the other side inhale reach up exhale contract at your core pelvic and abdominal contraction brings you forward nice inhale halfway lift find length in your spine exhale plant your fingertips send your left leg back low lunge lower your left knee untuck your left toes inhale sweep your arms out first and rise up anjaneyasana so same thing on this side tuck your sits bones under draw your abdomen up and back and find more length here and then with the pelvis held and contracted shift your weight forward a little bit to create a little bit more of a stretch in that left hip then grab on to that left wrist and arc to the right so other side so we're just trying to create an extension of stretch all the way here then keep your hand stretching that way and stretch it all the way to the outside of your right knee. Nice. Bring your palms to prayer hands with every inhale. Find more length in your spine. Press into that top palm and with every exhale, gaze back towards your left elbow. Twisting from the upper rib cage as opposed to the waist and still feeling that full Agni Raj breath in the twist. So you have less space in your core, in your center. So where does that breath go? When we contract different areas, we create space to feel more breath in other parts of our body. On your next inhale, rise up and come back to center. And this time, pressing off the top of your left foot exhale contract your core and press off the left foot to come to forward fold inhale sweep your arms out in front of you and then rise up urdhva hastasana exhale samastiti we'll try the same sequence twice more one breath one movement you follow your breathing so inhale reach up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale low lunge right leg inhale anjaneyasana exhale press off the top of the foot to come to uttanasana so we're not going to go sideways through the twist this time <laughs> yeah we're just going to skip that one part 
Yeah. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up, reach out and up. Exhale, Samastiti. Beautiful. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg, low lunge. Inhale, rise. See if you can rise up with your Anjaneyasana by first extending your arms out. See how my arms are an extension of my torso? And then with my core, I lift my whole torso up, okay? Press off the top of that back foot. Nice, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Reach your arms out and extend your legs up. Beautiful. Exhale, Samastiti. One more each side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right leg, low lunge. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Nice. Exhale, press off the top of that foot. Try not to tuck it. We're training the top of that foot to press into it. On your exhale, when you're ready, press off here to come to Uttanasana. Yeah, nice. Inhale, rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Reach your arms out and rise up through chair. Nice, exhale, Samastiti. Other side, inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg back, low lunge. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, good. Exhale, try to press off that left foot on the top to come to Uttanasana. Yeah, nice. Really engaging those side bodies there. Inhale, rise up. Through chair pose. Beautiful. Now we'll try another sun salutation. Inhale, reach out and up. And then exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Find length. Exhale, fingertips down, right leg back, but stay high on the heel. Inhale, sweep your arms out and rise up. Beautiful. Lift that back heel a little bit in that front knee a little more. Really nice. And then can you tilt your pelvis so that your hips are tucking under you and your abdomen is drawing up and back. Beautiful. Exhale, open to warrior two. Let your heel fall down. Three breaths here. Draw those sits bones underneath of you strongly and your abdomen up and back. Great. And then watch your front knee that it doesn't buckle in. Keep it out over your toes. Beautiful. Inhale, let your right hand fall and reach up with your left. Reverse the warrior. Nice long stretch in that side body. And then inhale, extend your front leg straight. Reverse triangle. Three breaths here. Inhale, reach up with the left hand and all the way out in front of you. Cut your body at your hips so that your right hip sends, shoots straight back behind you and reach, 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 reach as far as you can. And then when you're as far as you can go, just let your left hand lower on the inside of your left leg and reach your right arm up. Nice. Notice how your shoulder is forward of your knee. Bring your shoulder back in line with your knee. Yeah, and you don't have to be low. You can be all the way up here. Use that top arm to really be like a rope that's lifting you up. This is your side body holding you up, right? And be really light on this hand. Beautiful. Spread your fingers wide just to train your wrists to be strong and protected to activate those muscles. Gorgeous. Then exhale and bend your front knee, come forward into extended side angle. See if you can still not put any pressure on this left hand and bring your shoulders back over your knee in line with it. Really gorgeous. Then inhale and reach over your head towards the front. Great. Still keeping that abdomen back so that your shoulder is in line. And see if you can revolve your chest up and gaze up towards the ceiling underneath your arm. Nice. Inhale, warrior two. And we're gonna take three hops. Hop once, trying to find some balance on that left foot. Hop twice. And then when you find your balance, stay. 
in Ardha Chandrasana. So this doesn't have to be anywhere even close to the floor. This can be right here. You're trying to find a place where you can smoothly come into a balance. <clears throat> but it could even be standing here. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? You're using your core and your side bodies to hold you up. So it's not about a shape, it's about your balance and what you're activating. Yeah, take a couple hops, play with it, get light. You know, we're in the, in the study of movement. How do we move? How do we launch ourselves but still hold on to our core muscles? And whenever you're ready, stay and hold. Nice. Extend through this, the lifted leg through the heel to kind of push the energy back behind you and use your core to stay balancing. Try to see if you can balance for six breaths. Yeah, wherever you are. Be good with where you are and stay. Inhale fully. Mind's eye is in the pelvis. So your core is where all of your balance comes from. Beautiful. Nice. And then just come back into it the same way you came in, come out. So just do one more hop, come up into wherever your posture was, and then float back to warrior two again. Yeah. And then cartwheel your hands down, plant your palms, send your left foot back to three-legged dog. Yeah, and then on your inhale, shift yourself forward into a chaturanga, but with your left leg lifted. Chaturanga down, lower your left top of your foot onto the floor, so flip your toes under. Yep, press off of it, come up to up dog. Beautiful. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Inhale, gaze forward, lift your heels and hop or step to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, reach out and up to rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Beautiful. Exhale, collect your breath. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward, flat spine. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, left leg on your heel. Inhale, cry crescent. Three breaths here. Lift the back heel a little more. Yeah, nice. And really engage your core. Extend long through your side bodies. Keep yourself lifted while still drawing your ribs down and your abdomen up and back. Beautiful. Then when you're ready, open to warrior two. Turn that back heel down. Nice. Draw your sits bones underneath of you and your abdomen up and back. Beautiful, and reach powerfully in either direction. Really nice. Make sure that that front knee doesn't buckle in. You're pressing it out, yeah. And really engage that front uh, glute muscle to keep those pelvis tucked. Nice. You can even turn that back toe in a little bit sacrum. It gives you a little bit more room in the low back. Nice. And then inhale, left arm down, reach your right arm up, reverse the warrior, finding that stretch in your right side body again. Two more breaths here. See how light you can be on that left hand on your back leg. And then inhale, extend your front leg straight. Reverse triangle, option to bind with the back arm. Three breaths here. Nice. And then inhale, reach out first and up and out in front of you as far as you possibly can. Send your left hip back, engaging this right oblique muscle and then just switch your arms. So notice how you don't have to come forward anymore. Yeah. Even more, even more. You can come up even more. Here, your shoulder's in line with your leg. That's a triangle, nice. Spread those fingers wide to activate your wrists and engage your oblique on this side to hold you up. Feel the openness in your hip and in your left side body. Beautiful. And on your 
exhale, come down to extended side angle. So you're reaching your fingers for the floor, but if they don't reach, it's fine. You still want your shoulder above your knee. Yeah, beautiful. You can press the arm into the leg and the leg into the arm for a little bit of stability to help you open up your chest towards the ceiling a little bit more. Nice, and then reach over your head creating a straight line from your fingertips all the way down to the outer edge of your feet. Breathe here. Nice. Lifting yourself up with that left oblique muscle. And then inhale, come back up to warrior two. And from here, we'll again do a couple hops forward. Find where it's a smooth transition. And when you're ready, Stay. Stay for as many rounds or cycles of breath as you can. And when you need to come down, if even if you're falling out of balance, try to land as softly as you can back in warrior two. So there's like a little bit of a dance with the energy. Beautiful. Really nice. And then cartwheel the hands down. Send your right leg back to three-legged dog. Inhale, roll your spine forward. Bend your yoga, lower your right toes, flip your left, up dog, beautiful. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, your right leg high, straight back behind you. Lift your right leg, nice. Exhale, step it through between your palms. Low lunge. And then inhale, hop your left foot forward until you come into pyramid pose. So your feet are parallel to each other and both facing forward. So you can bring them a little bit closer together even, yeah. So you want your feet to be parallel. So right now your back heel is out a little bit and you can Space them out a little bit more so you have a firmer foundation. Good. Can you bring that back heel kind of in a straight line? Yeah, there you go. Nice. And then reach out, hinging at your hips, and down. So you can either reach for your front shin or for the block. Pyramid pose. Nice. So draw your outer left hip back and your outer right hip back and see where you can find that balance and where it's a good stretch. Let your head hang, let your torso hang. Breathe. See if you can feel the shift in your hips because your right leg is forward, so your right hip is down a little bit. Yeah, your left hip is lifted. So can you pull your outer right hip back? To just notice, where are your hips square? <clears throat> then extend your left arm forward in front of you and then lower it on the outside of your right shin and reach your right arm up to the ceiling revolved pyramid pose. Beautiful. Keep drawing that outer right hip back and keep trying to find some length in your spine. So can you sit up a little bit taller, find some more lift here by using your oblique muscles. So it's funny, the weight kind of shifts, right? You can use this block if you want to place your palm here or if you want to lower it down a little bit to get a little bit more height in your chest and your shoulders. <clears throat> nice. Can you feel the little bit more height that you have in your spine there? Yeah, it's really nice. Beautiful. Spread those fingers wide again. Reach up and back and focus on contracting your left oblique to draw your outer left rib cage back towards your outer right hip. So this is the crunch that we're holding. Nice. You okay? Sí, lo que más usan son pies ahí. Pies? Sí, my feet, like having them like this, uh -huh. 
it it's more difficult because I don't know why, but when I stand up, I stand up like this. Yeah. So if I'm doing any kind of balance of my feet, it's you always have them that way. Because when it's like this, where is it difficult? Because this looks beautiful in your revolved sí, pyramid. Si, sí, pero me duele. Oh, see. Sí. Killing me. Ah. It's killing me when I have my feet straight up like this. Pero dónde? Aquí. Ah. Pero si hago cualquier cosa, si hago árbol, lo sí, que sea, siempre si lo hago quieres así. poner su si pie así, como así, bueno. Como que pierdo todo el balance. <risa> Pero está bien, si hay que trabajarlo mucho. No tienes que tener exacta línea, ¿sí? Porque ahí, por ejemplo, bueno. si ya los tengo como ahí, es un poco me cambia. Uh -huh. Pero en su mente piensa que estás pusiendo poniendo. poniendo más uh, presión presión aquí mm. puedes o no sí ah bueno y cómo sientes ahí nada porque no tengo peso ah, ahí me duele un poco ah. tengo peso me duele un poco ese lado o sea está bien lo trátalo hacer, pero me duele. trátalo con presión aquí ¿Cómo sientes? O sea, lo hago, pero si, es el ciclo de trabajo. Si no tienen, tienes balance, separa sus pies un poco más. Ajá. ¿Cómo sientes? Sí. Bien. O sea, siento que hago triple esfuerzo. <risa> bueno. Ok. Desde aquí, vamos a... Uh, levantar su pie detrás. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> so from here, you can use the block and just slowly lift that back leg up and then lift your torso up so your torso is in line with your leg. Try to hold there. From mm here? -hmm. Yes. Breathe, find your balance, engage in that, yeah, engage in that left side of your foot. Press it down. Good. Press into me. Press, press, nice. press. <laughs> it's really good exercise for your feet. Sí. Yeah. Sí, yeah. <laughs> okay, una vez más. La balancia. Nice. See if you can hold that for three breaths, three full breaths. Nice. And then when you come back out of it, back into a long stance, reach up, high crescent, exhale, forward fold. Send that left leg, right leg back. Inhale, roll your spine forward, bend at your elbows, lower your le right foot down, press up to upward dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Let's try it on the other side. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, step it through between your palms, low lunge. Nice, and then hop your back foot forward so that you're in pyramid pose on this side. So just close enough so that both of your heels can be down. Your feet are separated so that you're not in one line and balancing. And both toes straight ahead. And work on pressing into your toe, big toe mound and your toe bone. Nice. So first just coming into pyramid, folding forward. Fine. Find the place where it's the best stretch for your hamstrings. Nice. Let your torso be heavy, let your head hang. You can shake it yes and no. <clears throat> and notice your hips here. So where they're square, because your left foot is forward, your hip is gonna dip down on the left side. So can you pick up your left hip and draw it back to square them off a bit more? Wow, yeah. Find your center and then activate the right side of your oblique. Place your right hand on the outside of your left foot. Lift your left arm up. Parviti pyramid pose. 
Spread those fingers. Yeah, we're training those wrist muscles to be strong. This is beautiful. Feel that length in your spine. Keep lifting up to rotate your chest even higher and keep engaging in this right side body to draw your outer right rib back towards your outer left hip. Two more breaths and then we'll come up into the balance. So find your balance now. You know where you're going. All the areas of your left foot and on your inhale, slowly lift your right leg. You got it. The balance comes from your core, so keep your focus on engaging in your center and in your side bodies. Beautiful. Step back, come into warrior, crescent lunge. Exhale, lower your palms down, send your left leg back to three-legged dog. Roll forward on your inhale, chaturanga, place your left toes down, up dog. Exhale, down dog, beautiful. Inhale, gaze forward, step or hop to the front of your mat. And inhale, rise up through flat spine. Exhale, samastiti, nice. Shift your weight into your left foot. I'm gonna mirror you. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, cross your left arm over your right. Nice. And then cross your, oh, I did it wrong. Right arm over your left. <laughs> and then cross your knees over one another. And then you're hugging everything into the midline. So you're really squeezing your knees together into the center. And you're maintaining a long spine. So if you, as you bend your knees and you come down, if you start to hunch forward, draw your abdomen in and up and reach your elbows higher towards the ceiling as you sink down slowly. So try to maintain a long spine. Nice. And balance. How far can you sink down? Then when you've reached a point where you can't sink down any further, you can bend your torso forward and allow it to hang over your front knee. If it's possible for you, if it feels good in your shoulders, you can also kind of latch your elbows onto the top of your knee and then let your head hang a little bit. Squeezing into the midline, midline, holding everything in the center. Beautiful. Aim for three full Agni Raj breaths. Gorgeous. Come out of it, inhale and reach up. And exhale, shift your weight into your right leg. And then left arm comes over your right this time. Lift your right foot up and over. Nice. Hugging those knees in towards the center, almost like you could wrap your top foot behind the calf of your standing leg. Keep lifting your elbows up towards the ceiling to feel that stretch in your shoulder blades and in your upper thoracic spine. And sink down as low as you can get while maintaining that flat spine. And then when you're as low as you can be, round your shoulders forward and maybe try to latch those elbows onto the outside of the knee. Still, with everything all contracted into the center, where does your breath go? When you try to fill up your belly and your ribs, where else can your breath reach? As slowly as you came in, come out of it. Nice. Inhale, reach up, gaze up, and exhale, swan dive forward. Plant your palms and hop back to downward facing dog. And then lower your knees. I'm gonna put the cushion under them because we're gonna come into camel pose. And then walk your hands back. I'm gonna come into camel. So first round, you can place your palms on your sacrum, so like you're sticking your fingers in your jeans pockets. So fingers are pointing down and then draw your elbows and your shoulder blades back. Keep your hips over and drawn up. 
and arc back. First you're lengthening through your side bodies and then you're arcing back at your upper ribs. So gaze up and then Jalandhara Bandha, tuck your chin back so that your cervical spine kind of follows the line of your chest. Nice. So you're, you're arcing here at your low back. I want you to find length here first. Yep. And then arc from here, your upper spine. So keep this length. Yeah. And you don't have to come far back. Draw your elbows towards one another. Good. Keep the length here. So keep lifting up, lifting up. Yeah, and back. So you're shining your heart forward, squeezing in here to lift through the back. Good. And then come forward into tabletop position and just allow your spine to settle and normalize for a breath. And then we'll come into the second round of camel. So if you'd like to try the more advanced posture, tuck your toes under and grab onto the insides of your ankles or heels. And then on your inhale, you send your hips forward over your knees and your head extends back. So you're using the pressure of your fingers on your feet to open your chest even further and tuck your chin back so that your spine and your, your head extend on the same line. So see the difference if I'm like sticking my head out, I'm cutting off a lot of energy here. When I draw my chin back, I'm allowing the energy to breathe through my spine and out the crown of my head. If this is too intense, just come back to the hands on your sacrum, even from the very beginning. So if you wanna tuck your toes under, that'll give you a little more height on your heels. Yeah. Grab the insides. Yep. You got it. Of your heels. Yep. And then you're going to breathe on an inhale. Send your hips forward. Yes. Nice. Now tuck your chin down. Good. And extend the back of your head back. So gaze up at like the crease of the wall and the ceiling. And then tuck your chin back this way. Yes. Beautiful, shine your heart from the back forward. Draw your shoulder blades together and press here to help you open across your chest. Beautiful. You can let your head come back a little bit more and then tuck your chin under. Yeah, 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 yeah. Breathe. So this position allows you to feel the full range of your breath up through your belly, your chest, your throat, your head. Yep, inhale, come all the way forward. <laughs> Extend your hands out in front of you so your spine can be nice and long. <coughs> Just breathe, come back to your full Agni Raj breath. Letting your belly fill up and expand out against your thighs when you inhale. And as you exhale, draw your navel back. Contract, draw your ribs in and down. Let your chest sink a little bit further towards the floor. So when you're ready, plant your palms into the floor, tuck your toes under and come into a brief downward facing dog. And then lift your heels, bend your knees and take a hop to a seat in front of you. Beautiful. Place the soles of your feet on the floor and extend your arms out in front of you. Reach your spine long, engage your core to lift your low back. And then come into boat pose or navasana. So lift one leg off the floor at a time. You can extend your legs out straight in front of you if you'd like to. <clears throat> Keep drawing your shoulder blades back. 
tucking your chin back. Yeah. Shine that heart. Gorgeous. And then we're gonna slowly lower down by seven. So we're lowering each vertebrae at a time, slowly lowering down the floor straight, extend your arms nice and long. <laughs> Good. Then when you come down to the floor, walk your feet in towards your sits bones. When we come into bridge pose, so you'll press into your heels and lift your hips, extend your fingers underneath of you and interlace them. You can lift, rock from side to side to lift your, to tuck your shoulders underneath of you. Bring these toes and then squeeze your knees in towards the midline. Nice, really beautiful. So feel the similarity in camel pose of the breath rising from your seat all the way through your belly, through your ribs, through your chest, and down into your throat. So this is a very throat chakra, Vishuddhi, strengthening or engaging because all of your pranic energy with every breath is coming down into your throat space where it's still a little bit restricted, right? Beautiful breath. Keep breathing. Nice. Now we're gonna combine the motion of the bridge with a lock called Sri Mudra. So you'll inhale and inflate up into bridge, but you'll lift your palms up over your head also. So thumbs come down to the floor and you'll hold your hips up here and then you'll exhale all the breath out. <sighs> then with all the breath out, you'll hold your belly and let it be loose until it suctions back up into your rib cage. So this is like, um, <clears throat> Agni Sara is the name of the breath work when you're standing. So you create this like really loose suction effect with holding your breath. So I'll show you, cause I can't talk and do it at the same time. So you'll inhale up, exhale. <sighs> So you keep your breath held, like we did in Kapalbati, you keep your head held, breath held at the top, and then your stomach will like, it's a, it's a weird sensation. Mm -hmm. Your stomach will like suction back up into your ribs if you make that mm, 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 okay. kind of action. Si, si. Y cuando sientes como necesitas respirar, de bajar, Bajar. Y cuando your, when your hips and your hands are down, then, I, then you can inhale again. And it'll be an inhale. Okay? Vamos. Inhale, lift your hips and your arms up and over your head. Good. Then exhale. Hold your breath. And then suction. Like you're pulling your navel back and up into your ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And then just hold there with your breath out for as long as you can. And if you feel like, oh, I want to inhale, then let your arms lower at the same time as your hips. And then inhale. Yeah. Let's do it. Do I exhale when I come down? Only when your when hips you and exhale. hands are down. Okay. Yeah. I exhale. Yep. No, you okay. inhale. Okay, but if I'm holding my breath here, yep. when do I ex exhale? You've exhaled already, okay. so you inhale uh, yeah, okay. up to there, then you exhale <sighs> while your hips are held, right? Yeah. Exhale all the breath out, hold it. Okay, so I inhale when my hips are down. Still holding, still holding, still holding. Yeah. Still holding when I lower, and then when you get down, then you inhale again. <sighs> okay? All right, let's try it twice more. <laughs> inhale, lift hips and hands. Exhale all the breath out and hold it out. Lock all the air. Nice. And then just play with that feeling. You can kind of warble your belly too, like feel the, the suction fluttering, massaging. Lower down, don't breathe yet until your hands are down and your hips are down. Yes, and then inhale. Nice. 
try it one more time when you're ready. It's just getting familiar with the, See, the space, the capacity. The yeah. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale all the breath out. Hold. Suction that the ribs up and back so the belly is really loose. And then hold it as long as you can. Get comfortable with the discomfort of not being able to breathe yet. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> really good breath work that you can do any time. So extend your left leg out in front of you and draw your Either one. <laughs> And then take your right hand on the outside of your left knee and allow it to cross over your body. Extend your left arm out to the side. Nice. Take a few breaths here. I'm gonna apply a little pressure. You let me know if it's too much or if you want more. You feel good? And then on your inhale, come back to center and switch your legs. So draw your other knee in towards your chest. On this side, yep. And breathe. Find your breath again. The full expression of your breath. You can also play with this arm for your chest. Play with reaching it up towards your head and down towards your hip. If it activates anything that needs a little more stretch in your chest, a lot of times because we're so hunched over with our phones and everything, we get some tightness in here. And depending on where that is for you, you can leave your arm there, wherever it feels good. back to center. Extend both of your legs out in front of you. Make any last adjustments that you would like if you feel like anything has not been given enough of a stretch. Feel free to move as you please before resting in our final Shavasana. begin to let go. Extend your feet out to the outside edges of your mat. Let your legs be super heavy and fall into my hands. Feel the weight of your heels and the floor. Notice the space between the backs of your ankles on the floor. Notice where your calves touch down. Notice the space between the backs of your knees on the floor. Where on the mat your thighs touch down. Your upper thigh, your hamstrings that have done so much work. Your glutes, 
your hip bones, let them be heavy, weighing you down, melting you into the floor. Turn your palms so they're facing up towards the sky in a gesture of reception. Notice the space, low back and the floor. Notice where the back of your ribs touch down, back of your upper spine, your shoulders. And release the conscious thought process with your breath. So just allow your belly to rise and fall with your breath naturally. And release control. Just allow your body to breathe. All of the physical work is now done. It's time to sink in, let go, and absorb the subtle effects of moving chronic energy. Bring your attention back to your upper shoulders. Allow your arms to sink your upper arms, the back of your forearms, your elbows, your wrists, your palms. Feel like even the fingertips have weights on them, weighing them down. Draw your attention to the back of your neck, the space between it and the floor. Heavy and sink down. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Release any tension you may be holding. Do a body scan. Maybe one of your calves or your hip seems to be holding a little bit. Release any tension you might be holding in your jawline. Let your mouth gape open. Release your teeth. Release your tongue. Let it slide back. Give the breath all of the places that it can escape and enter once more. Relax any tension in your face, your eyebrows, your forehead. Feel like your ears are sliding away from the midline of your face, sinking down. Release your physical body. You no longer need it. You've done all of the work. It's time to absorb and receive. Gaze to the point between your eyebrows, your third eye, your Ajna Chakra. The place where your intuition meets with the universal consciousness. Gaze out into that infinite expanse of the universe that lies before you. Infinite possibility. Let your physical body Stay here, sinking, melting down, and allow your spirit to soar out into that vast expanse of possibility and creation. See what you find.
slowly begin to be conscious of your breath once more. Connect the inhalation with the rise of your belly and the exhalation with the fall. Make the conscious choice to send your breath to awaken your body. Use it to make small movements. Maybe starting with your fingers and toes, lips and tongue, moving to your wrists and ankles, maybe rocking your head from side to side, feeling around in your mouth with your teeth, with your tongue. And then take a deep inhale and reach your arms up and over your head and bring your feet together to touch in front of you and take a nice long stretch from your toes tips to your fingertips. And then on your exhale, gently roll over onto your right side, using your arms or your hands to make a pillow to support your head. And draw your knees in towards your chest in the fetal position. And take a moment here, resting on your right side or your ta side, your moon energy, cooling, calming, creative. And recognize that the physical pressure on that <clears throat> inversely affects your ha side of your brain or the sun activating, analyzing individual energy. Just notice where you lie in between those two Reflect back on your practice today. What did you learn? What did you like? What did you dislike? What did you feel neutral about? Acknowledge that you created space for whatever the answers to those questions are. That with only your breath, you're able to unite the movements of your body with the coordination of your mind. Keep your eyes closed. Remain in this sensation of introspection and mindfulness and slowly move yourself back and use your hands to support you to press yourself back up if you'd like a pillow or the block again feel free to grab those just moving slowly thoughtfully when you found your comfortable seated position you can place your palms on your knees or thighs. Any gesture that is sustainable, so that is restful, easeful. Take a deep inhale and feel it rise up from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. And on your exhale, again, draw your navel back ribs in and down, let your chest sink and your shoulders fall away from your ears. Inhale, fill up, belly, ribs, head. Exhale, contract and draw down, abdomen, ribs, chest, shoulders. Keep breathing in the same cycle of breath as slowly as is possible for you without creating any tension or breath holding. Find the place that's the full expression of your inhale. 
and feel how your body naturally sinks into the exhale. Make the exhale as long as naturally possible. And when you come to the very bottom of your exhale, allow for the inhale to flow. Every breath moving from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. Every breath extending as slowly as it can without discomfort or dis-ease. Finding a place within your breath that you can be perfectly at peace with the rhythm. It helps you, you can count your inhale. How many seconds long is it? And your exhale, how many seconds long is it? We're not trying to change our breath or force it in any way. Simply observing, taking note of where we are. Where is your breath today? What is the length of it? and simply trying to maintain that length of breath. Observing if it changes. Maintaining a sensation of ease, peace, restfulness within the body. Keep breathing. Keep coming to the full expression of your inhale and the full expression of your exhale. And when you have the numbers, add a pause in between your inhale and exhale. So inhale fully and count how many seconds that breath takes. And at the very top of that inhale, just pause for a moment before allowing the exhale to be initiated from the base of your abdomen and expel all of the breath through to the crown of your head. And then pause briefly at the bottom of your exhale before allowing the inhale to flow. Inhale fully and completely. Pause at the top and allow the exhale. Breathe out fully and completely. Pause at the bottom and allow the inhale to flow. Observe where your thoughts are. With the focus on your breath and the length and pausing in between, we increase our awareness not only of the physical actions of our respiratory system, but also the thoughts and the motivations that come up when we're still. And just as there's no need to change the breath or the length of it, there's also no need to try to release or not think thoughts. Your lungs job is to breathe and we allow it. Your mind's job is to think and we allow it as well. Breathing and sitting in stillness, we can begin to observe the thoughts 
that come into our minds. Over time, we can begin to observe which thoughts are repetitive, which thoughts are actually new, in which way we want to direct our energy going forward. You have the power to choose your thoughts just as you have the power to breathe fully. You can change your life by observing yourself. Know that you can come back to this breath the space that you create for yourself at any time. You don't need a yoga practice. You don't need a special seat or a cushion anywhere you are, anywhere in the world. You can sit, close your eyes, and pay attention to your breath. So slowly release that focus of your breath and just allow yourself to be completely at ease. In a gesture of appreciation and gratitude for yourself, wrap your right arm around your left shoulder and your left arm around your right shoulder. Walk your fingertips back towards your shoulder blades and just give yourself a nice big squeeze. Hug yourself. Send some love, kindness, compassion, care, and gratitude towards yourself for showing up, for being present. It's an act of self-love that we care for ourselves, care for our bodies, care for our minds, and become more aware of what those entail, what they contain. Gently bring your hands to heart center and bow your head ever so slightly. Caroline, in honor of all that you are, within and without, and all that there is in this magnificent universe, I honor you. Thank you so much for being here today, for allowing me to be your guide. You can flutter your eyes open and come back to the space. Rest your palms in your lap and just take a few breaths before you move. It's an honor to have been able to work with you. Please let me know if I can support you in any way or if you have any questions. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs>